Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Quarantine Diaries here in Shanghai. There's been a big escalation over the last couple of days of the processes and quarantine procedures for people coming into China from outside of China, so coming from abroad. So what I've done is I've invited my friend Chao Jie, who recently returned from Portugal literally two days ago, and she's going to explain her first-hand experience of these new procedures uh, for people going through quarantine coming in from outside of the country that actually even I missed coming in last week. Um, before I get, before I leave it to her to, to explain those updates, I just want to show you a picture. She's going to be talking a lot about a QR code. I'm going to leave it to her to explain exactly what this safety QR code is, but I thought it'd be good for you guys to get an image of it. So here it is. Cool. Um, that's it from me. Uh, I'm going to leave it to her and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I am Aaron's friend CJ and I just came back from Portugal two days ago. So I want to talk about my experience because it was right around the time when Chinese government really strengthened the border control. It's also interesting because it's only a few days apart from when Aaron came back, but the escalation was quick. Before I even started uh, talking about my own experience at the airport, I want to touch on why the government is doing so. Um, so if you don't know already, the coronavirus situation in China has actually been under control. Uh, in a lot of the provinces and cities outside of epicenter, there have been zero cases for the past two weeks. And I think this is something that's overlooked by a lot of the Western media because they tend to only look at aggregated number of cases, which obviously China is still at the top. But if you look at new cases, China is doing quite all right. So there has been warning from experts that if there is going to be a second wave of outbreak, it was going to be from incoming cases brought in by travelers and visitors. And that's the, the general background of the border control and why it's so serious. So I, I landed in Shanghai Pudong on Sunday the 8th around 6.30 a.m. Before I even landed, the air hostess on China Eastern took everyone's temperature and they also gave us a health declaration form which we all have to fill in. It contained information like which countries you have been to in the past 14 days, have you been in contact with anyone from Wuhan, do you feel any of the symptoms, uh, fever or coughing or anything. We all filled it out and we landed at Pudong and we have to wait. We were told to wait and uh, until our flight is cleared by the health officials, we were not allowed to get off the plane. No one actually came onto the plane to take our temperature or, or give us any test. We waited for around three hours and we were told that we can get off the plane. We got off the plane, we went to where you usually take your fingerprint and at the fingerprint station, three or four officials were holding up a QR code which you need to scan and fill in the information. I scanned the QR code and I got um, another QR code back. This QR code is color coordinated into red, green, and yellow. If you are, if you get green, that means you are cleared. You can go to any places, any public facilities, or um, any public transportations. If you are yellow, which is the one that I got, um, that means you have to be quarantined for 14 days at home. And if you get a, a red, that means you have to get your test taken instantly at the airport, right there and then. And you also have to be quarantined at a government facility, usually it's a hotel, for 14 days. I got a yellow code and I took the paper form and also my QR code to another station where a human verifies that both information digitally and on paper match each other. And I was let go. I went to pick up my luggage and I thought I was going to see my mom because my mom was picking me up. Um, I didn't. I, I got my luggage, I went out of the gate and another station uh, is there that I have to go through. It's the station that was set up by the district officials. Um, so my, my 
my compound belongs to a certain district in Shanghai and the district official was there. I gave them all my information. I also have to give them my mom's information. So my mom's uh, ID, her phone number, and they, they, uh, they took all the information and someone escorted me. Actually, two people escorted me to the parking lot. Um, they were super sweet. They even offered to carry my luggage for me. Uh, and at the airport, we met up with my mom. They called my mom's phone number to make sure that it's actually my mom. Uh, it's not some DD driver that I got uh, from the internet. And they also asked me to take a photo with my passport next to the license plate. And they asked my mom to do the same with her driver's license next to the license plate as well. And then we drove off the airport. About 10 minutes after we left the airport, someone from my community center called my mom. If you don't know what community centers in China are, they're basically sub-district under a big district. Um, and they are in charge of three to four blocks. Someone from my community center called my mom asking her where we are, how long does it take for us to go back home, and started to ask more questions like how many rooms I have in my apartment so that they know um, I don't live with a big group of family and um, they know that I don't have to be quarantined inside an individual room that I can actually walk around my apartment. And after all of these, I arrived at my compound and about 10 people were waiting for me, a lot of attention. So um, they again took um, all of my information one more time and they took my temperature one more time. On my way home, my landlord even called me and asked me if I was going to be quarantined. He also got a call from the community center as well. So they all sent me up to my apartment. I wasn't even allowed to touch my elevator button. And they gave me a care package, which consisted of uh, medical grade trash bags, a thermometer. I have to edit uh, I have to add um, community doctors, WeChat, so I can send her my temperature morning and night um, so she knows that I am healthy. And if I forget to give her the measure, she will call my mom and my mom will call me and I have to give it to her on time. Otherwise, they will actually come and check on me. Um, they also, someone from my compound also uh, come to pick up my trash. They also deliver food to my door if I ordered any food. So they make they really try to make sure that I cannot set food outside of my apartment. Um, it's day two of my quarantine and I am bored already, which is why I agreed uh, I'll talk about this experience with, with Aaron. One thing, one last thing that I want to talk about is that throughout this whole experience at the airport, at my community center, at the compound, I just want to say that I have tremendous respect for all the working medical professionals and everyone at border control. They were really respectful. Um, I cannot imagine the stress that they're going through and the amount of visitors they have to handle every single day, but no one had any bad attitude. They were really, really sweet and very understanding and, and they try to solve problems instead of creating new ones and I really feel a sense of unity um, everywhere uh, throughout every step throughout the process. So that's it.